remove the uh, my 2017 Dodge Ram Laramie Cummins. Um, it currently has 2,000 miles on it. I deleted it last weekend. I've put about 200 miles on it since then. Um, so this is just a, a pro and con of the of the delete kit so far. Um, what I think about it and stuff like that. So I use the uh, Race Me, the MM3. Uh, you can get it on eBay um, with a kit, which is what I did. Um, I got the uh, two pipes that just bolt up underneath the truck in replace of the SCR and the DPF. I don't know if you know or not, but they did not have a muffler from the factory. These trucks don't come with one. What keeps them quiet is your DPF and your SCR. So if you remove those um, and you buy just two pipes to replace up on there, because I have a stock down pipe and a stock tailpipe, you're going to go straight pipe. It's, it's what it is. Um, they don't have a muffler stock. So here is a uh, startup with the straight pipe. It's really not that loud inside the cab. Uh, here we go. See, not that bad. Um, it's got a nice rumble to it. Uh, currently 2,224 miles. So we'll get outside the truck. Show under the hood, the EGR delete, the throttle body. sucked up a piece of gasket. I don't know where it went. It was a paper gasket. Pretty cheap. About that big. Pretty small. So I just reused the stock hardware from the stock valve. It's holding much better now. Um, I scraped off the gasket from the old uh, valve and that's holding up well. Here's the sound from the tailpipe. It's on the rumble tune, so you get a few options when you buy the kit. Um, as far as tuning goes. The idle tune, the rumble sounds the best to me. Um, they have a, a hiss tune. Um, it sounds like a hair dryer. It sounds like absolute shit. And here's the underneath of the truck. And as you can see, it's just two pipes. So it is just this pipe right here, expanded. So the front pipe, which is bolted up on the front, to replace your two pieces. There's no muffler on the truck, like I was saying earlier. So another big question I get a lot is, you know, the miles per gallon. What did it help? So my uh, head unit right now is saying I'm getting 15.6 um, overall on the delete. I'm driving around with the 60 tune, the 60 horse tune. Um, I calculated it out. I'm getting more like 18 hand calculated. Um, before I was getting like 14, so I gained almost four miles per the gallon. Um, I never bought DEF. I only have 2,000 miles on the truck, anyways. But it is a pro that I won't have to in the future. Um, a negative on this thing is the hardware. So I don't know if you saw earlier in the video. I just have this sitting in my center console, um, the head unit. Two things: one, this suction cup, total piece of shit. Every time you close the door, it just falls off the truck. Um, two. This back cable right here, just hanging, that plugs into your monitor, um, it just comes up. It's it's super loose. Um, it's not a requirement to keep plugged in if you want to keep your truck tuned, but my uh, screen keeps turning on and off because this plug, this cable, does not stay plugged in. It's, it's a piece of shit. Um, so hardware is the biggest problem here um, that I've seen so far. Um, I'm driving around in the 60 tune, mainly because I want it to be safe. I mean, they, has um, 15, 60, 100, 150, and then 200 tunes. Um, I put it on the 200 tune once I did it, you know, just to go around the, the business loop I'm in. Um, it breaks the tires loose pretty easy, <laughs> especially a traction control off, um, but I can do it anyways, um, even on the 60 tune. So I'll show you guys that here in a second, an acceleration and the noise in the truck and stuff like that. Okay, so here's an acceleration of the truck, um, 60 horse tune. Again, that's what I drive around on. Um, traction control's off. And I'm just going to go from a stop and then mash it so you'll see the sound and, and stuff like that and acceleration. A lot faster than stock. 
my biggest complaint, you know, when it was stock is it's an absolute dog. Um, luckily this tuner I got came with transmission tuning on it. Um, I noticed right away it doesn't wonk like it used to. Um, ships way smoother, so that's a great feature to the race me, um, at least from the guy I bought it from. Um, it, trans tuning comes on it, so it's automatic when you pick your, your tune. Um, power slide around this corner, it'll be pretty easy. The traction control off. And there we go. Again, yeah, that's, that's a 60 tune, so this thing is, is way, way faster than the stock. Um, not a race truck by any means, but it definitely brought it to life. I figured I'd show you guys the Hiss tune. I know I complained about it. Um, so I'll just show you what it sounds like inside and outside the truck. So to change these, uh, what you do is you hit the RT. And then you go to uh, Adder, which is pretty much your idle tunes on here. And then I got the rumble right now, and then I'll change it to Hiss, which I don't think sounds good, but I'll just show you guys. I feel a difference right away in the truck um, but I'll show you outside here in a second and see it just turned off because the cable's so loose in the back like I was saying earlier here's what it sounds like in the field bike it's just a little deeper pitch than I like I guess it's a little too dominant. I'm not a fan of it.